I'm going to um, post a video of um, someone else who is recognizing that the sun appears to be affecting um, earthquakes, tsunamis, you know, all of these catastrophes, weather changes, all appears to have a relationship with the sun. And what it appears to, to be going on is every time that we experience a problem, we are either stuck in that problem, complaining about the problem, and making excuses about the problem, while others are looking at causes. What could cause this? Generally, anybody that's looking at causes of any problem and they fix those causes, generally the problems go away. Every single thing is causal and we're not really waking up to it. Everything is like a domino effect. And it's looking at the first domino. What caused that first domino to go off? If you can shift or change that first domino, then you change the outcome. Now, you can look at the sun and say, oh, something's going on with that sun that's causing everything. And that's an extremely severe reality we need to wake up to. What is causing that sun to react so violently? Now, if everything is causal and energy coming from the sun is affecting the earth, humanity is the epicenter of all of reality. You get rid of humanity, does everything else exist? You know, it's only our existence that makes everything real. If we didn't exist, none of this would be going on. Now, I personally am kind of seeing the causes of why we don't want to fix any problems. The meaning of good and evil is evil would say all of this hell would be over if we didn't exist. Which I think is probably why these elites um, who think they know more are trying to get rid of humanity to save us from all of the pain that we happen to be suffering from from human existence. If your human existence wasn't real, then you'd be saved, which is sort of the same thing what Bibles say is strive for your death. That's where heaven is. <laughs> you know, so it seems like uh, we aren't quite really understanding anything yet. We are, are, are thinking that death is going to be the answer, but it's human nature not to die. We will fight death. You know, we will, when you're faced with death, that's when you feel the most alive. Um, you see a lot of people that are extremely depressed that just want to die, but something stops them from actually killing themselves. You see people that are in you know, uh, jail for the rest of their lives. And yet they try to fight the death penalty. They want to live, even though they would live in a jail cell for the rest of their lives. It seems humanity's core being purpose is to live. I think God put us here so that we live. And I happen to think it's because if you really want to get to heaven, you got to actually create it. <laughs> This right now, our unknowing of what's going on is creating hell. That's what a problem is, is the experience of the problem. But heaven is actually the experience of the solution. And that's why you kind of have to really recognize what is causing everything. If you can get at the main cause, cure the causes, you'll solve all problems. And that's where our evolution is taking place is we're starting to really recognize the core issues of all problems and transform them into the solutions. Now to get back to this video, 
you'll see that the sun is definitely affecting earth changes in our earth experiences. The sun feels like it's so much out of our control because it's so much bigger than us. But like every problem, you are the creator of it. Um, this is something I learned from a very, very young age because it was like, why would my parents bring me on this earth experience? You know, why would they want to put me through this kind of hell? Why would you do this to me? And I see that same pattern all over again. Why would the elites do this to me? Why would criminals do this to me? And that put me always in a losing position because it was like you got to change other people so that your life is well. But I was in a power position the minute I changed my perspective. I watched this uh, girl who had a near-death experience and wrote a book about it. And she realized that it was her that decided which parents she wanted to be born into. The soul actually chooses the experience that the soul wants and has the parents the environment to create that experience that you're choosing. That kind of changed my whole way of thinking. It was more or less, oh, I wanted this. My sole purpose was to come down here and experience this hell for some reason. And then when I played out that pattern of perceiving things in that way, I was much more powerful. I was more in charge of my experiences than the experiences being done to me. So from that perspective, the sun looks and feels as hard and as big and as large as these elites or these criminals or anything evil that seems to be bigger than anything you have control over, but that's not necessarily true. You are creating that sun. We as humanity are creating that sun the energy forces that are going on to make it flare up as much as it is. So what is changing in humanity these days? What, what's going on? Now if you go and uh, go get an EEG machine on your, your thoughts, you'll find that your thoughts give out these waves. And these waves reach out past your body. They actually can be reached out towards the whole friggin' planet. Every single one of us are like a beacon sending off waves of information. And what's that information? It is your feelings. What you feel is being put out there. And what seems to be going on is more of the planet is getting more and more frustrated and more and more angry. We are experiencing more and more negative energy. Each one of us is a beacon for negative energy going out, the more hell seems to be experienced. And Stephen Hawking is, you know, kind of studying black holes and um, the concept that he's recognizing with black holes, the universal study, is also ex the same study as the quantum world, the psychological world, that there's a black hole and an event horizon. Every black hole has an event horizon. So we, and, and a black hole is nothing more than a problem, something that is, you know, a hole you go down, you have no clue what's about to happen next. You know, it seems like a big nasty problem, you know, and it seems to be able to tear you up apart. Same like every other problem that you deal with. As soon as you go into an experience um, that's dealing with a lot of problems, you don't know what it is. You, you are just experiencing the crushing of your being. <laughs> and whether you survive or not all depends on how you handle the event horizon. So while we're going through these big huge global changes that are going on, while you see the sun overreact <laughs> and causing a lot of earth changes, we have to recognize that we're entering a black hole right now. We're entering new territory. We're all recognizing there's a problem. and 
now it's time for us to really pay attention to our event horizons because you are the beacon <laughs> you know that's putting out this negative energy and that negative energy that's being you know out into the universe as well the sun is making everything else in the universe come attracted exactly like a tsunami that first it gets sucked in then it goes out it's the earth is constantly breathing in and breathing out the body keeps breathing in and breathing out it's like you experience the negative you find out oh big wake up now I see what's wrong now I know what's right and then you put it out and it's sort of like this process of waking up you see part of the problem you get really really pissed off then you're going to send out that negative energy then you're going that negative energy is going to come at you again and you're going to experience more negative energy when it comes in then you're going to get even more angry and, and this process of getting more negative energy and putting out more and bigger negative energy is just creating problems bigger and bigger with every breath of of your awakening because every time you awake you're just starting to realize oh my god there's something even worse oh my god there's even more worse oh my god there's even more worse and the event horizon is how to handle it is just be really really calm and loving just sort of understand what the big picture is we are in the process of transformation we are in the process of a polar shift a polar shift within our own beings the polar shift within our whole beings is reflected within a polar shift of our planet a polar shift of of all other planets a polar shift is going on with the sun everything is shifting and what's it shifting to from everything negative to everything positive we're learning of all of the problems because all of the solutions are going to be unfolded they will not be unfolded if you do not handle the event horizons correctly if you inhale that negative energy then you're putting out negative energy and you're only going to destroy yourself in the process healing true healing is is when you feel that peace when there's nothing to be peaceful about because it's the outside influences that control your emotions from the way you're perceiving everything right now. But you don't have to be really, really angry when you, you receive a negative energy. It's just a lack of understanding. But if you have this understanding that things are changing, everything's getting really good, you know, just sit back and say, accept and allow that, okay, we wanted some changes. Why are we so upset when change shows up? just sort of breathe in with every negative that comes in transform that within yourself and go this is really a good thing you know, I'm going to put positive back out there um, I try mentioning some of the things that I see are wrong but it's not to try and encourage you to be full of fear but more of knowledge is power understand when you see negative people come at you when you see these attacks just transform that into a positive look for something positive in everything negative because there's always something positive in something that's negative it's just you have to look for it so the only way you're ever ever going to see what is good about something that is bad is if you sit back accept and allow and just say what's good about this can't see it right now but I know something good is happening just don't know what it is and the more you can be calm within yourself, the more you put out calmness and love. And, it, you know, the thing is, is that we're all little beacons. And it's the majority that rules. <laughs> the planet is a democracy. So it is a hundred monkey concept that if enough people knew this, then enough people make a difference. So it is a matter of spread the word, but spread the word through example when you see somebody negative that you can't handle trust it's your own negative energy that you're dealing with it's your lack of understanding it's your lack of being able to feel peace when there's nothing to be peaceful for and and that's just the goal is try to be peaceful 
while something negative is going on. And then you affect the world. Then you affect the shift that you want to happen. This is a pass or fail. We either destroy or survive. I think we're all going to, you know, those that are negative won't survive it. Those that are positive will. Peace out.